Hi, today one of the things I wanted to talk to you about was uh, the motto of our Graham Johnson Cultural Arts Endowment is life is for the living. And what that's really about is whenever events happen, uh, they're only events. You make them good or you make them bad. That is an attitudinal thing that people do. And that's what our, our whole endowment talks about. But I did want to tell you a quick little story that fortunately it happened to me, but it was, it was sort of has powered part of the GJCAE and the thought processes. And that was, I was about 19 years old. I was working over in a hospital in Naples, Italy, and I met Mr. Ford. And Mr. Ford was about 79, 80 years old. Him and his wife had never been to Italy. They'd finally retired, and once they had retired, then they had always wanted to go back to the homeland, Italy. And so they were on a ship. They, their first port was Naples, Italy. And they pull into Naples, and Mr. Ford was sick, and he had to be evacuated with an ambulance off the boat. And he came to the hospital, and I happened to be the person, he was one of my patients. And I was taking care of Mr. Ford, and he just was not getting any better. And then as things got worse, the question was, well, why is Mr. Ford not getting better? And part of it was, at the age he was, he was tired. He really had sort of lost the zeal to live. And the real tragedy was he never actually set a foot on Italian soil because he came off in a stretcher there off the boat. And I remember talking with his wife, and we would sit there in the room, and one of the things that would happen is we started thinking, I said, Miss Ford, we got to figure out something to make him get motivated. And one of the things I even tried doing, and fortunately my commander at the hospital allowed it, but I said, I'll do anything to get the man happy again, make him want to finish this trip. And so I was even putting Playboy posters up in his room, and I said, I know I'm in trouble because what's going to happen is this is against the fire thing, too. I wasn't worried about the content, and Miss Ford was 100% behind me saying, Bob, do anything you can. We've got to get him going. Well, bottom line was Mr. Ford died right there in the hospital. Uh, he lasted for about another week or two, and then he died, and the one lesson that I know that helped me, and it's the motto behind the Graham Johnson Cultural Arts Endowment is you live the moment. One of the things that happened with Mr. and Mrs. Ford is both of them had worked so hard and tried so hard to have a good life and they did it and they were finally able to retire and they got to go to where they'd always wanted to go and that was Italy. Unfortunately, they didn't get to enjoy it. Italy was a tragedy for them. But what we, I learned then was, you know what, no matter what, and you may have seen our stream video, no matter what, live for the moment. Don't put off, as long as you have your health, mental and physical, everything else is icing on the cake. But take the moments in time, don't plan on, well, after I go through the drudgery of a 40-year-old job, 40 years on a job that I don't really like, but then I'm going to retire and things are going to be hunky-dory. They're not. You better love the moment and live the moment. That's what it's about. As you've seen in other videos and things we've done about the Graham Johnson Cultural, Cultural Arts Endowment, what we try to stress is people enjoy where you are right now. Make the most of now. It's an attitude. Be happy. And that's the way to do it. But fortunately, unfortunately for the Ford family, but fortunately for me, Mr. Ford, even though he inspired, he really inspired. And for that, we're very happy. Thanks.